You're playing at Cincinnati. You're the American Conference Player of the Year. Now you're at Tennessee. Kind of take me through that decision to 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 leave your hometown team and then, you know, come to one of the hottest teams in college baseball. Yeah, it sounds a little weird, doesn't it? But um, no. After you know last season, um, and I was trying to decide, you know, what I want to do, um, and with the draft being late in the in the summer, and you know the season I kind of had, I thought, you know, um, I was going to sign the draft, and when my my negotiations kind of fell through. I was kind of in the spot of, you know, do I want to go back to Cincinnati or do I want something different? I think when most people hear like portal transfer stories now, they think like, I think they think the worst, which could be rightfully so sometimes. I think, you know, somebody was unhappy or, you know, they didn't like the situation they were in. But honestly, that wasn't at all the case. I loved it there. You know, it was my home, my, my home really, where I grew up and I got to play in front of, you know, my family and friends and I, I loved every second of it. But I, um, you know, decided at that point for my career, what was best was to, you know, a new challenge and a new experience, something I could grow from in a different way. I think, um, like I, I was so settled in, in that conference and in that, that school and, and, you know, it had a lot of success that, you know, I wanted a different challenge and, um, that's why I decided to transfer and I had to actually jump through a bunch of hoops to be even be eligible to transfer because I missed the portal date, which was. July 1st, which makes no sense now since the draft's after July 1st, <laughs> that you can't transfer sure. after. So yeah, that was a whole mess, but I got in, thank God. And um, just when I was deciding on where to go, um, I actually came to Tennessee. It was my second visit, really my first visit that I you know, kind of cared about, I guess. Um, and I, I just fell in love with it. I mean, I love the coaching staff. I love the place. I love my teammates, and it's been great. How aware were you of, you know, and I know Tennessee was number one for so long last year, but, you know, were you kind of watching that team from a year ago going, man, they're having a lot of fun? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something, um, just a mutual respect, you know, a team that's not, that wasn't in the conference I was in, wasn't really on my, you know, my headline, but every week, you know, you see what they do, and they're just from baseball player to baseball player, you know how hard it is to perform at that level with that consistency. It doesn't matter where you're at. Like you, you're gonna take like tip your cap and respect what's being done. And you know, when I decided I wanted to transfer, the biggest thing to me is I wanted to go somewhere to win. You know, and not win in three years, not win next year. I have one year. Like I wanted to win now. Yeah. And it was like I want to go to the place that's set up to win now. And um, for me, that was here. And I haven't seen any reason to think that's not the truth. All right, we're in the middle of this big home swing here in early March. Kind of take me through, um, you know, what do you think Tennessee fans have seen in you to this point? What do they? What do you feel like? You know, as they watch you, they see in your game. What? What? What's your? How would you describe it? Yeah, I think you know my role on this team um, is a little different from my pat, like where I was in the past, which is a good thing because you know I'm surrounded with guys um, that are great players, right? And, you know, everybody wants to be a superstar. And I think we have a bunch of superstars. But I think we also have a lot of guys that are superstars that play the role. And, you know, my role on this team is to, you know, be a mature hitter that's consistent, that can be counted on um, in the middle of that lineup, and that's going to play good defense and, you know, make the plays that need to be made. And also be, a you know, a mature presence in that locker room because even though, you know, we started the season to this point, we're still young and we're still figuring things out. So from a guy that, you know, has, you know, 800 college at bats and a, a couple hundred games under his belt, it's part of my job to try to get some of that maturity to rub off on some of these younger guys that, you know, earlier in the season versus finding it out, you know, 30, 40 games into the year and when it could be too late. So um, I think that's hopefully I want fans to look and say, like, hey, that guy's a leader and kids and the other, you know, other guys on the team look at him um, as somebody that, you know, they can trust and that, you um, you know, makes them better. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video here at VolQuest on YouTube, the leading source of University of Tennessee football, basketball, and recruiting. Be sure to check out our latest video right here and the, our latest live show right above it. All that at VolQuest.com and VolQuest on YouTube.